I need to hurry up and get that candle. Tell the truth, shame the devil. I need to like hurry up and get it done. The labels design and in production because I promise you just about every video I do is going to be brought to you by Tell the Truth, Shame the Devil. And it's amazing to me that y'all actually come in and be like, are these real candles? Yes, they are real candles. They are real candles and they're about to get one free. Anyway, when I was in my 20s, I lived near a military base and there are two types of um, men in the military, enlisted and officers. And I understood very clearly that I was not officer material. I was not going to date and marry an officer. My disposition, the way I existed in the world, nothing about me as a partner would make a good wife to an officer. And I understood that very clearly. And when people told me that, I was never offended because I was like, I'm not going to be offended at the truth. It is true. And I married a man in the, that was enlisted and we had a great marriage until it wasn't. Like we had a great life until it wasn't because I understood my worth and my value on the market. And so when people come in and say, how does she think that she was dating a VP of some major company in Atlanta? Like there's some truth to that. There's some truth to that. It's harsh, but it is true. So nobody's being mean to her when we point out the obvious. Hey, a VP and a forklift, they don't make the same kind of money. How were you fooled? Did you ask for bank accounts? Did you Google the company? You know, we're not saying, we're not trashing her. We're just trying to get a better understanding. But when women want to keep hope alive, when they want to believe that they deserve something, that they are entitled to something, when somebody comes along and say, baby, you're probably not going to get that thing that you want. You might, but odds are you're not. Then all of a sudden, oh, you're just being mean. You're just trying to tear her down. How am I trying to tear her down by saying she ignored red flags when in part 52 or 22 or whatever part she was on she said there were obvious red flags that she ignored so the fact that i said she ignored red flags makes me the nasty one. like it makes no sense but at the end of the day the average american reads and comprehends on a fifth grade level and i think my comment section i'm not even gonna say it because tiktok don't like it